Welcome back to Move with Nicole. Today's class is a Pilates core workout using the Pilates mini ball. So when you're ready to get started, roll out your mat and let's begin. Let's start our class today in a cross-legged position, sitting up nice and tall. Inhale, reach your right arm up and exhale, side bend to the left feeling a beautiful stretch through the right side of your body. Then turn your chest to the floor and place your right hand on the mat to feel a deeper stretch through the back side of your body. Then return to your side stretch and let's switch sides. Inhale, reach your left arm up and exhale, bend to the right. Then turn your chest to the mat, feeling that beautiful stretch, making sure that both sitting bones are in contact with the floor. Then return to your side stretch and come back up. Let's come to our hands and our knees now, making sure that our knees are stacked underneath our hips. Place the ball underneath your left hand and move the ball to the front of your mat, making sure that your left elbow is slightly bent. Really draw your navel in and then extend your right leg back and point your toe. On your exhale, lift your leg, press down on the ball, then inhale, lower. So exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Eight more like this. As you lift your leg up and press down on the ball, I really want you to concentrate on lowering your ribs down to your hips and drawing your belly button up towards your spine. Moving nice and slowly here with lots of control, really activating our deep abdominal muscles. Now hold your leg lifted, keep pressing down on the ball, exhale, pull your knee to your chest, inhale, extend back, then exhale, slide it open to the side and inhale center so exhale pull inhale extend exhale slide to the side inhale through center just three more like this really try to keep your spine nice and straight and keep your core engaged last one exhale pull inhale extend exhale open inhale close well done, let's finish with pulses. You lift and lift as you press down and down on the ball. Just six more and five, four, three, two, and one. Flex your right foot, place your toes on the mat, then grab a hold of the ball. Inhale, reach your arm up to the sky and exhale, thread your left arm through the right coming down onto your left shoulder, feeling a beautiful twist. On your next inhale, reach your left arm up to the sky again and exhale, return through center. Let's switch sides. So make sure your left hand is underneath your left shoulder and press down on the ball with your right hand, making sure that the ball is slightly in front of your shoulder. Extend your left leg back and draw your navel in. Exhale, lift your leg, press down on the ball, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift and press, inhale, lower. Really think of that rib to hip connection as you lift your leg up and keep drawing your navel up towards your spine. Just two more and last one. Hold your leg lifted, keep pressing down on the ball. Exhale, pull your knee to your chest. Inhale, extend. Exhale, open the leg to the side and inhale, close. Exhale, pull. Inhale, extend. Exhale, open. Inhale, Inhale close. Three more. You can do it. Two more. Keep your spine nice and straight. Last one. Can you open your leg out to the side a little bit more? Beautiful. Hold through center and lift the leg up 
and up as you press down and down on the ball. Six more. Five, four, three, two, and a one. Flex your left foot, place your foot on the floor. Inhale, reach your right arm up to the sky and exhale, thread your arm through your left. Pressing down onto your right shoulder, feeling a beautiful twist. Then on your next inhale, reach your arm up to the sky. Try not to drop the ball like I did. And then exhale, release, well done. Cross your legs behind you and let's come to a seated position now. With your knees bent in front and your feet hip distance apart, reach the ball forward in front of your chest. Take an inhale to prepare, then exhale round back into your C curve, dropping your ribs down to your hips. Then inhale, come back up and straighten your spine. Exhale, round back, ribs to hips, and inhale, come back up. Let's do three more. Slightly tucking our pelvis under as we round back, really engaging our abdominals. Now on this last one, hold in your C curve. Lift your arms up, squeeze the ball, lower and squeeze. Inhale, lift, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, lower, exhale, squeeze. Make sure that you're not flaring through your ribs, so keep dropping your ribs down towards your hips. Let's do one more. Lift, squeeze, lower, and squeeze. And now let's finish with pulses. You lean back and back. Nice exhale and exhale. Keep your shoulders down and back. Just four more. Three, two, and a one. From here, place the ball behind you in the middle of your back, just below your shoulder blades. Keep dropping your ribs down towards your hips with your pelvis slightly tucked under. Then place your hands behind your head and interlace your fingers, keeping your elbows nice and wide. On your inhale, let's lean back, then exhale, curl all the way up. So inhale, lower your head back, Exhale, curl up. Just eight more like this. Make sure that you're really supporting your head with your hands and that your chin is slightly dropped down towards your chest. Keep breathing. Inhale, lower. Exhale, curl up. Three more to go. You can do it. Two. Can you lift up away from the ball a little bit more? And last one, well done. Hold in your curl, then on your inhale, lift your left leg to tabletop, exhale, extend, inhale, bend, and exhale, switch sides. Inhale, lift your right knee, exhale, extend, inhale, bend, and exhale, lower. Two more like this. Really try to keep your hips still, so using the strength of your core, avoiding any rocking through your hips. Now let's add a twist. So exhale, twist, inhale, center, extend your leg, exhale, twist, and inhale, switch sides. Exhale, twist, inhale, center, exhale, twist, inhale, switch sides. Keep going. Take this at your own pace, really finding the control in the movement. As you place your foot down and lift the next foot up, really try not to rock through your hips. So keep dropping your ribs down to your hips and engaging your core. Only four more to go. Exhale, twist, inhale, center. Exhale, twist, inhale, switch sides. You can do it. Two more. And last one. Well done. Let's hold through center and now lift both legs to a tabletop position and then extend your legs forward. Let's bicycle our legs. You switch and switch. Really try to lift your body up away from the ball, so be careful you're not leaning back into it too much. 
I really want you to use those abdominals. You've got 10 more, nine, eight, you're so strong, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent job. Rest your head back and just release over the ball. This should feel so nice for those abs. Then from here, carefully lift yourself back up and let's come on to the right side of our body. Extend your right arm long on the mat and rest your head on your arm. Make sure that your legs are extended in line with your body and then place the ball in front of your chest and press down with your left hand. On your exhale, lift both legs up, press down on the ball, inhale lower. Exhale, lift, inhale lower. Eight more like this. Really using the side of your waist to lift your legs up. So think of dropping your left rib down to your left hip to initiate the movement. Three more. Two. And a one. Hold your legs lifted and now just lift the top leg and lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Eight more like this. Keep pressing down on the ball. Six. Five. Can you lift your bottom leg up a little bit higher? Three more. Two. And a one. Well done. Let's now change our position. Place the ball on top of your left thigh and then extend your right arm forward in line with your shoulder. This time on your exhale, as you lift your legs, lift your upper body up, then inhale, lower back down. So exhale, everything lifts, really crunching into the side of your waist. Inhale, everything lowers. Just three more because I'm feeling nice. Two more. And on this last one, let's hold at the top, lift your top leg and take little pulses. You lift and lift, pressing down on the ball each time that you lift up. Let's do five more, four, you can do it, three, two, and one. Excellent job, rest down. Maybe stretch that left arm overhead to feel a nice release through the left side of your body. Okay, from here, let's come onto our backs now and place the ball in between your thighs. Imprint your spine, so press your lower back down into the mat and then lift your legs to a tabletop position, making sure that your knees are stacked over your hips. From here, all I want you to do is exhale, squeeze the ball, feel your abs engage, and then inhale, release. Exhale, squeeze, inhale, release. Place your fingertips on the inside of your hips so that you can really feel your abs engage as you squeeze the ball. One more. Good job. Now place your hands down by your side. On your exhale, tap your toes to the floor. Inhale, lift. Then exhale, squeeze the ball. Inhale, release. So exhale, tap. Inhale, lift. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, release. Just three more like this. As you squeeze the ball, really think of engaging through those abdominals and flattening your abs. Last one. Now stay with this or lift your head and shoulders and take your hands behind your head. Same thing. Exhale, tap your toes to the floor. Inhale, lift. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, release. You can do it. Two more. And last one. Now hold your knees lifted and take a little curls. You lift and lift as you squeeze the ball in and in. Just six more. Five, you can do it a little higher. Three, two, and one. Excellent job, rest your head and take a little breather. Okay, from here, prop yourself up 
and let's come down onto the left side of our body. So extend your left arm long, rest your head and extend your legs straight. Press down on the ball with your right hand and really draw your navel in. On your exhale, lift your legs, press down on the ball, inhale lower. Exhale, lift, inhale lower. Eight more like this. Really think of that rib to hip connection. So lower your ribs down to your hips in order to lift your legs up. You're doing really well. Two more. And on this last one, hold your legs lifted and let's just lift the top leg up and down. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Eight more. Keep your bottom leg lifted off the floor. That way you're really using your core muscles. Three more. Two. And one. Well done. Let's switch our position. So place the ball on top of your thigh and then reach your left arm forward in front of your shoulder. On your exhale, lift your legs, crunch up through the side of your waist and inhale lower. Exhale, lift, crunch up, inhale lower. Three more. You can do it. Two more. Can you lift up a little bit higher? And last one, let's hold at the top, lift your top leg up and take those little pulses for 10 and nine. Really reach and reach. Six more, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent job, release back down, stretch that right arm overhead to feel a release. And then let's get ready for our final series of class. So return to your hands and your knees, and this time place the ball in between your thighs. Make sure your knees are underneath your hips, your hands are underneath your shoulders, and then tuck your toes under. Really pull up through your navel, engage in your abs, and then hover your knees off the floor. On your exhale, pike your hips, draw your belly button into your spine, then inhale lower returning to that hover position. Exhale, pike, and inhale, lower. Just three more like this. Finding that beautiful flat back as you return to that hovering position. And last one. Now hold in that hovering tabletop and just squeeze the ball in and in. Eight more. Seven, six, pull up through your navel, four, three, two, and one. Let's repeat, pike your hips and then lower. Exhale as you pike, inhale as you lower. Keeping this nice and controlled. Two more. And last one. Hold in that hover position and squeeze the ball in and in. You can do it. Final move coming up in five, four, three, two, and one. Hold the squeeze, drop your right hip, center, then drop your left hip and center. Keep your spine nice and straight and keep pressing down through your shoulders. Six more, you can do it. Five, pull your belly button in. Four, three, two more. And last one, hold through center, take a nice big inhale, then exhale, release. Well done, release the ball and press back into a well-deserved child's pose. Take deep breaths here, you did so well. Then walk your hands over to the left, feeling a beautiful stretch through the right side of your body. Then carefully walk your hands over to the right, pressing your left hip down towards your left heel. Beautiful, return through center, then ripple your spine forward to your push-up position and lower down onto your belly. 
Inhale, roll your shoulders back, lift your chest and press up into Cobra to feel a beautiful stretch through your abs. One more deep breath in and then exhale, lower yourself down. Press yourself up and back into child's pose. Then from here, carefully lift your chest up and let's stay in this kneeling position. Close your eyes, then carefully drop your right ear down to your right shoulder. Feeling a beautiful stretch through the left side of your neck. Then lower your chin down towards your chest and then carefully draw your left ear to your left shoulder. Take a deep breath here. And let's do this a few more times. Drop your chin to your chest. Roll your head over to the right. Drop your chin. Roll your head over to the left. And then lower your chin to your chest one last time and lift your head straight up and take a big shoulder roll. Beautiful job. Let's come to a seated position now with our legs crossed. On your inhale, reach your left arm up and exhale, twist over your right shoulder. Return through center. And other side, inhale, reach your right arm up and exhale, twist to the left. Carefully unwind and let's finish class like always with one last big inhale, reach your arms up to the sky and exhale, lower your hands to your heart. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's Pilates core workout using the mini ball. If you would like to see more classes like this, don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, share this video with a friend or family member and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and I hope you have the most beautiful day.